Hey guys, Qui-Gon Jake here, and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. In our last episode, we had gotten all the big boy routes set up. And as you can see in, our, in the bottom left corner of our account, we've been raking in the money. And so, with that being said, it is time to uh, make that bridge gap up here in Flagstaff. Or this isn't Flagstaff, this is Phoenix. Phoenix is already so big as it is. It's like a, was it 900,000? Yeah, Phoenix has broached a uh, 1,000. Uh, residents and it also craves fuel so we're gonna go ahead get fuel from the rim bring it back down to Flagstaff Phoenix and Mesa and make even more money so let's get to it Alrighty, well one thing I wanted to touch on before we get started is to just update you guys on the coal and iron routes as there were two steel mills, the Mesa Exchange and the uh, Phoenix Steelworks Company that I was trying to be clever and deliver the iron and coal from Temecula all the way over here to the Lower Mesa Steel uh, Depot for a massive uh, profit and then take the coal and iron from Mesa, taking that all the way over here to Phoenix, uh, uh, the Phoenix Steelworks Company, so that I could make a lot of profit that way. I mean, in reality, you would just do this. You would just take the shortest route to Phoenix Annex. Um, but it was borderline profitable, even with the big boy, just because of the distance uh, or lack thereof, any sizable difference. So now when I am, I'll let it play here, when I am delivering all the coal and iron and we'll watch train 13 here as she pulls along through the balance that I get instead I'll bring up the finances tab because uh, this is gonna be her first load that she'll be delivered I um, I did split it at 50 50 that was a good suggestion uh, someone once someone in the uh, comments suggested that and that was a good point because sometimes the trains will pick up 85% coal and only 15% uh, iron ore on a on what seems like a random whim and uh, yeah that's not the most uh, efficient uh, the steel mill here at one point had 346 excess iron and zero excess coal that's a bit of a problem so I went in changed that and now we're getting back to a much uh, to an even half and half we also, before this train pulls in, we have six big boys going on two separate lines. This is our eastbound uh, big boy route to the Phoenix Annex. And then, of course, we have the westbound uh, big boy all the way over to Lower Mesa. So I had to split that. I have six big boys working these lines. I'm finally shipping steel from the steelworks over here to the Mesa Annex, getting picked up by this guy, taking him all the way over. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, well, I mean, that works, I guess. I need more lumber, though, I think, for that to be effective. Maybe, maybe it's time to uh, make this the... Uh, <laughs> anyone who's ever seen any videos from uh, Colonel Failure will, sh will cr uh, be concerned when I say this might be the bridge episode. Um, but yeah, anyone else who doesn't know what that is, look up Colonel Failure's Transport Fever 2 campaigns. Just type in Colonel Failure, Colonel Failure Transport Fever 2 Bridge, and you'll quickly find out what I'm talking about. Um, I don't think I'll do it this episode, but it probably will be a future episode. So let's go back and watch this Train 13. Let me get a good catchy name for it to see how much money she makes when she goes all the way from... Uh, Temecula, this is clear across the map, with a full load of iron, ore, and copper. Let's see how much she profits us. Survey says... 17.6 million. Yeah, I can, I can, I can live with that. That's a, that's a, an acceptable amount of money. Yeah, so, hence why our budget is where it is at, at 310 million dollars. It's, uh, yeah, it's really nice. So let's go ahead. I want to see if the headquarters have changed at all. They have, oh, it has. The headquarters has changed. Look at that. It's a quaint little house. All right, so the first step is going to be getting, securing crude oil to, um, 
to this, where is it? Where's the refinery? It's the refinery right here, the Flagstaff Oil Refinery. I have oil uh, on these two wells. It would be, I don't need two wells, this is the reality of it. I could absolutely grab from the Flagstaff Oil Well down here, ship that over to the oil refinery, take the oil refinery back to the freight yard. Heck, I could even go Flagstaff Oil Well, freight yard, refinery, freight yard. In fact, I might just do that. I do have extra lines that I was reserving just for this sort of thing. So I'm going to utilize one of them, probably the outside track. So this would be line two. And we're going to go ahead. And yeah, I think I'll do that. Make sure that I'm not majorly infringing on any rail. And then we're going to go ahead and... See how much that will cost us. Only 9.43 million. That's not bad. That really is not bad. That would only be 8.97. So yeah, that's what I'll do. I will move this route here. Because I already have the refinery all, all hooked up already. Um, alternatively, I could make this a really long, expensive bridge. And everyone would hate me for that. Everyone disliked that. Um, or I could do, make it kind of fancy. Really shouldn't, just to be, well, although, I'll, honestly, the more, um, I don't know, <laughs> now I'm conflicted, it's like, well, I mean, the bottom line profit is that, you know, you get the oil there quicker, um, and I, I'm an American, so I am a bit of a sucker for getting oil delivered efficiently and cheaply. So we'll, again, we'll be having the oil coming up from the oil well to the freight station. You know what? For now, even though this won't be as efficient, I don't want to see a bridge that covers the canyon like that. That just doesn't look right to me, or doesn't feel right at least. So we're going to go the old-fashioned way. We're going to do it the old-fashioned way. Worked for Union Pacific companies and railroads then, and it'll work for us now. So let's go ahead now and get a freight station going. Nope, wrong button. Wrong lever! Why do we even have that lever? I won't need two lines because the train that's going to be delivering the crude will also be bringing back the synthesized rubber. Or not synthesized, the... What is this? It's not crude, it's just oil, I guess. I will still have two tracks just because I might have a second line that will... Um, that will approach, and if I need to get extra crude, you know, kind of stuff like that. So, let's go and plop you down. This isn't Flagstaff West, this is Flagstaff North uh, Oil Depot, that's what we're gonna call this one. Let's go ahead and just add a larger platform. Can't quite do that, well, that's unfortunate. Uh, I don't know how much oil is actually gonna ever be held up here, so I might just do that. And uh, leave it, leave it to, leave it to Beaver. Oh crap! It was okay. Never mind. I'm not doing that. I don't, I don't need electrical. I don't want electrical uh, lines. So I might do. Let's do no catenaries, please. No catenaries. No catenaries. There we go. All right. Tracks. We're gonna then, because this is gonna be cheaper. In the long run, at least. I'm gonna bring you up like that. And up to 66. Let's go ahead and get. And a fun little tip uh, for anyone building tracks, especially in wooded areas. If you're if you're worried about accidentally clicking a tree or something like that, or if you're in a wooded area trying to delete trees and you don't want to accidentally hit your rails, what you can do is just click and hold. I'm deleting plants. I am not deleting any rail, and vice versa. Like that. Cool little hack. Cool little life hack. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead, get rail up there, and then, boom, just like that. So we'll go ahead merge you on over. Just 
just like so, although your line's a little taller, but that's okay. I probably will need to keep this double track because I'm going to have multiple lines coming here. So, and I will want a second part of that bridge just to make it look a little thicker. And then we're going to... Nope, don't do that. 50. That works. That's the speed we're looking for. Cutting a little bit in, but that's okay. So, let's go ahead now, get some signals for one way. Um, yes, they will need to have a one way, unfortunately. Uh, this will not be a one way, however, because our new route is going to be from. It would technically be flag, the Flagstaff Freight Yard all the way up here for the Northern Oil Depot. And then I do need to add this stop. There we go. Perfect. And then the next route, which is going to be probably taking one of the last rails on the left. I don't foresee any other rail usage for these bottom two ones. So I'm going to just take one of them, curve it around like that. Very nice. Now here's going to be the fun part, having to curve this thing down. I could do stone bridge or I could do a good old fashioned iron. I'll probably do good old fashioned iron because eventually I'm going to want the, tr uh, the time for this travel to be at least, um, at, least at, a, at a better pace. The other problem though is that it's just so much. It'd be just pretty much all bridge traffic if I don't get down hill because it's just, ugh. It's just so much hill. Too much hill. This one might be one where I have to just make an exception for the hilliness of the features. Otherwise, it's going to make this tra travel be really long. Because even still with this, it's still, it's still going to be a lot. And see, so yeah, that's what I was afraid of, is that we have a bit of an incline there. So we actually could do that. Okay, now that I'm okay with. Yeah, that I'm actually okay with. Yeah, I'm actually, I am, I am, I am definitely okay with that. And then let's go ahead and get the, uh, this will only need one station. This will not need more than one. Let's go ahead and get you, and I don't know if I'll need a 320. Well, no, typically you do with these things. Or not typically, sometimes you do. Uh, let's see, can I do this? Oh, Bristol Freighter. Oh, ooh, it's the Alco PAs. Oh yeah, that means our, our, our passenger travel is gonna, about to get a major upgrade. All right, so how do I do this? I can't connect to this line right now. It's too. It's too. Uh, it's too narrow. Um, let's see. What if I did? Can I do that? Too much slope. Uh, we're gonna have to do this to get up, which is gonna be really weird. All things considered. But, um, yeah, I guess I didn't need to do that because I'm doing 50 miles an hour. Too much slope still, really. Wow. Still won't let me, just too much slope. All right, well, let's, let's figure out. I don't think the station placement is going to work. I might need to, let's just delete this rover right now. This is kind of in my way. Uh, let's go ahead. We're going to raise this to a 240, but I am going to add an extra wide uh, building. So I'm going to put this guy right here. And let's go and configure. And go and add this. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Bingo. Not bingo. I am going to have a lot of these because 
crew tends to, to add up really, really fast. Let's go do that. And then, what are we going to do? Have a cheeky little... A cheeky little... Uh, yeah, that's, what, that's exactly what I thought was going to happen. A cheeky little tunnel. A little bridge tunnel. Which it honestly looks kind of quaint to me. I think I am okay with that. And then there comes the challenge of now we have to get back up. Oh, that's my secret. Get back up. Oh, you don't have to keep it, baby. Let's see. Okay, that's 75, that's 44. 45. Um, as much as I would hate for it to be going that slow, for now, that'll do. That will do. So we've got crude coming in here, then it has to come back out. So it's going to have to be a 28 one there. And then we're going to do this, which is going to be a little on the weird side. And I have to find a way to get this thing to curve in like that without it being too strange. Um, I don't think there's a way to reduce the strange. And that's going to just be weird. I think that's just going to be the reality of it. I'm used to 30 at this point as, this, as the speed well, I was. Okay, we'll do this, I guess. And then 34 there. I'm not a fan of that reduced speed. Really not a fan. But I am also... This is going to be a cluster truck. I just know it. This was, this was probably a bad idea, putting that stuff there. Because I have at least one line. Well, only one line at the moment going through. So I can make that a one-way signal there. And then a one-way signal there. And then a... There was only going to be one there. So you'll one-way signal there. You're going to be fine crossing that section. Okay, that looks good. That looks good. I don't currently have a use for that second line yet, but that's okay. I need to kind of pretty this up. It's kind of a bit gross right now, but all in time, all in good time. So, what's the first thing that I'll have to do? Well, the first thing I gotta do is make a, is make the second line going from Flagstaff. Uh, we're gonna rename this one Flagstaff uh, Oil Depot to the Flagstaff Freight Yard. This one's gonna be a dark black for the liquid. Or was it black gold? I think is what they called it back in the day. So now to be able to get this, all right, I will need to put a signal here. It looks like one way, because that's going to actually potentially mess up with that otherwise. How are you guys doing? Eh, doing okay. I got to figure out how, okay, I have to turn this off from a one way for now, just so that I can buy the vehicles, which I was, now I'm going to be using, ooh, that's a tough one. Do I do a big boy or do I do a 412? Honestly, in all fairness, this is something that should be electric because the tractive power of these electrics are so good. It's just that I don't want to see a tr an electric train pulling oil. I want to see a steam locomotive do it. Uh, let's see. This thing would probably need at least, what, how many is that? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Probably would need at least 16. 16. And then you would go to the line three. Unable to find path stop. What do you mean? Go there. Oh, this isn't a double switch. It has to be a double switch, doesn't it? Set you. Try that again. There we go. And I'll need to rename that line to B. This is, let's see, what is that? Flagstaff crude delivery. And then I'll need to get another train 
that one that will go over here. I think to get that I have to get from the station way back here, which that's going to be fun. Um, that's going to require another... I wonder if the Alcopia... No, that's passenger. That's not freight. That's not what that's for. I'll start out with a 412. And I'll probably do... Let's do 10. That's 10, I believe. And you will go on line 2, which needs to be renamed as well. That will be renamed... Do, 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 do. Flagstaff um, Oil Delivery. That's what this is going to be. Technically, it's a crude and... Crude Transfer Oil Delivery is technically what it is. In fact, also you. Are you going to stop at this curve? Because I'm going to have to have him reverse is what he's going to have to do. Let's see, is crude lining up yet? Yes, there it is. Excellent. The crude is starting to compile. Wonderful. Simply marvelous. Yeah, it's a big train. 192 crude oil that can be delivered. Crude just builds up. It's like grain. It just explodes out of the ground. Figuratively and literally. Technically, plants do that too, I suppose. Not that. Alright, where is Carmen San Diego? Um, we have train 16. Honestly, I probably didn't need to get a 412. Like, a Mikado could probably have done that just as well. Mm, uh, it's just, it's, you know, let's just check real quick. Mikado, what are your, what's your power? Oh. I don't care about the tractive effort, but that raw power of 4,800 is really nice. I could have done two Mikados, I suppose. I suppose I could have done that. But I'm going to leave it be for now. The hardest part will be to get this thing delivered. I already have 56 oil. That is not half bad. Oh, but before I forget, it is now time to get all of our locomotives upgraded for passenger. Uh, let's do a multiple unit. And then what would the passenger be? It would be streamlined, wouldn't it? One, two, three, four. Let's do... Uh, let's do five. Yeah, 93 miles an hour. It won't be as efficient, I think. Promise I don't need 90 capacity yet, so we're going to just do four. And then we are going to place you guys with a diesel as well. That's some good power and tractive effort. I'm not, not opposed to that. Three, four, boom. All right, so here we're watching mittens. Yep. Not the greatest horn I've ever heard, but you know what? With this new locomotive, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and watch some more trains again. Let's watch this thing go.
and welcome back to Transport Fever. Hope you guys enjoyed the little montage. So there is crude and it is slowly being shipped. Um, I was expecting it to go a little faster than it is, but we have our first delivery of crude going to the oil refinery and then that will come back as uh, oil to the fuel refinery and that will then get us um, technically speaking, the first person that will get access to this is going to be Flagstaff, ironically. We're going to probably need to be delivering a lot more crude than just what one train can bring. So, that, with that being said, I need to seriously consider adding a second line of crude to get this done quickly. Let's see, what line do I... I did the outside line, which means I could do another, I could do another route this way. Technically what I can do is I can like quadruple or double the number of trains and then just ship via truck. Uh, let's go ahead and delete that, that, and then go ahead and upgrade that, and then pretty much just go straight, curve a little bit there, and then I'll want to add on a platform. I don't need to do much more than a single platform. This will be just to connect the... Uh, eh, I have the money. I'll make it look at least kind of nice. Um, and we'll then put this thing here along with two adjacent territories there. Move you up here. Let's go ahead and get you connected that and then we're going to go like that um, yeah that works buildings drop off line go from oh I guess I actually do need to put down a, a uh, truck around here actually no you won't want left one zero right make a 30 no tram Let's go ahead and get you a cargo. Is this enough? It is! Huzzah! That doesn't usually work like that. Uh, delightfully surprised. Go here into Elm Street. This will again be black for crude. And then streets. We're going to have to this guy. Like that. Time to go buy the vehicles. It's my sports utility vehicle. Um, what is going on here? Oh, it's, just, it's all that grain waiting to be picked up. But this will be the first time we could use the Studebaker tank truck. I'm going to get 12 of these guys. We're going to paint them. Uh, now I'm going to leave them be for now. And then we're going to set them on the new line, which I need to still name. We already have a hundred uh, crude waiting, so I'm going to duplicate this train one more time. Yeah, and while I'm thinking of it, I should also get a couple, throw in a couple more signals. A couple more one-way signals just for um, transportation's sake. There we go, there's train 20. And we should start seeing crude popping up here. Emphasis on the sh see shipment, but I don't see anything actually being transported. Huh. Nothing at all? That's weird. Oh, there it goes. First bit of crude. So that's going to arrive from these trucks <laughs> as the long caravan of Studebakers starts mobilizing. That'll be nice. So yeah, that'll add extra oil because we need a lot more than we're currently shipping. Uh, wow, we have 228. Um, that's actually quite a lot. Do, uh, do I need to expand these Mikados or something? That's like actually quite a lot of oil. I wasn't expecting it to jump that quickly. Uh, let's go ahead and yeah, I guess I'm gonna go back to the uh, go back to the 412s because uh, I think we're gonna need it. I think we're going to need it. Let's go ahead and do 
the that is that 10 5 10 yeah let's just do that just because I think I think it's gonna be necessary Ooh, this looks for a good shot to actually see the bridge Very nice, very nice. Yeah, this guy's gonna just need a lot more consistent oil deliveries. Wow, we already have 200, 220. That's a lot of crude. Maybe I didn't need to add a third train. Wow, this thing is really not building any oil. It may not need it. Well, we'll let it. We'll, I'll let it. I'll let it go, and uh, we'll see. Um, we'll see how that develops. But I think that's going to do it for this episode of Transport Fever Two. Definitely got some productive trains. Look at all those trains arriving and going to Flagstaff. Uh, the freight yard's pretty busy right now, which is really nice. I like seeing that. That's exactly what it was designed for: the transfer of goods to and from the uh, all of our industrial. All of our industrial places, really, it's kind of the heart of our industry right now. And that it's well placed. Flagstaff is pretty much in the middle of the entire map. So it works out. Well, that is going to do it for this episode of Transport Fever 2. Hope you guys enjoyed. I know it's a little shorter than usual, but I am moving next week, so I wanted to try to get at least one video out for you guys. So until next time, this is Kawaii Jake. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.